Hey, welcome to this week's Talk It Over. And so uh, th- this past weekend, Pastor Benjamin was here and he shared from God's Word. Um, I, didn't know, I don't know what his, what his sermon was last week as we prepared for uh, this week's Talk It Over. And so I kind of want to give, a, give your group some time and space to do some kind of some fun uh, spiritual exercises together. And so I want you to do a couple of things in your groups this week as you kind of walk through uh, this week's Talk It Over. Um, first week, I, I just want you guys to be able to just stop and pause and in the midst of busyness sometimes. It's easy just to kind of just keep going to get, get through something. But I really want to give your group some time and some space this week to just stop and go and go around the circle in your group and say, hey, how are you doing? And, um, and be able to chance to be able to talk and listen to each other. And then I'd give an opportunity for you guys really to kind of go around and share um, what's really going on in your life, how you're really doing. So I'd ask some questions like, how are you doing spiritually right now? Um, how is your relationship with God right now? Um, what are some areas you really feel like um, God's working in your life? And, or maybe what are some areas that you feel like God, you need God to kind of really step into your life and, and, and to work on? Uh, but I just want to give, you, give your group some time and a space uh, not to get caught up in something and be able to neglect kind of how are you, each of you doing? And so you can a- each answer that question a little, a little bit differently. I would encourage you a, a few things with that. One, to be honest. And um, it's going to be really tempting just to go around and say, hey, I'm good. Or, yeah, we're good. God, God and I are good. And, you know, it's um, and not to give a, a real answer. And a real answer could be something, man, I, this is what God is doing in my life. And I feel like he's really challenging me. He's, he's really stretching, growing me. And I really feel a real intimacy with him. That, that's a good answer. A good answer could also be like, man, God and I are kind of just a little bit of distant right now. And I feel like life is squeezing my time with God out. Um, so we're looking for real answers that are authentic and not just a quick answer. Um, so be willing to be honest and to share. Um, go with that. If, if you're the first one who kind of goes on and share, um, you're going to set the tone. So it's going to be really easy for the first one, two, or three people to go share. And that fourth person is going to share a little more honestly. And then those first three people are going to want to come back around and share a little later what's really honestly going on in their life. So I would encourage you to start off by just all just kind of be willing to be honest and authentic with one another. So do that. I think also to help this exercise as well is um, if you're listening to other people share, whatever they're sharing and however honest they want to be, um, listen. And to listen to each other um, intently. So I know for me it's easy to take my phone and check different things or check my email or check those times. But learning to put the phone away, learning just to be able to lean into each other, and to be quiet and just a little listen to that person share what's really going on in their life as well is a huge thing. And the third thing I would share with this as well um, is not trying to fix someone. Um, especially if, there's, if somebody shares something like, here's where, they, here's where they really are and there's some real struggles or tensions. It's really easy for us as individuals to say, hey, have you tried this? Or, hey, God's good and he'll do this in your life. But just to be able to listen and care and support and pray for each other. So take some time in your group to do, to do that and, and to go around and just to just say, hey, how are you doing in life right now? How are you doing your relationship with God right now? Um, the second thing, and, and include this email, I'll include an exercise, of just some, some spiritual, uh, spiritual exercises of being able to pray and support each other. And so this is just gonna be a fun exercise. We'll get some verses um, there and, and you just follow the instructions on, on what this looks like. But I just wanna be able to pray and support each other with God's word. And if you have time at that, in your group, I would encourage you just to take communion together and to be able to just to, be able to, just to reflect on God's goodness in your life, to reflect on last weekend of Easter and what does it mean um, that God loves us so much that he was willing to go to the cross, die, and to be rose again. And that sense of, of just having resurrection with Christ, to be, um, to be reconciled with him and what he has done in our life this week. And so... Uh, it's a little different type of group this week, if, if, especially if you follow along our Talk It Over videos. But take time. Hey, how you doing? Um, do our little prayer, um, scripture reading verses uh, in, in exercise, and we'll take communion. And hopefully this is a kind of a real neat time for your group just to, to do something a little bit different, uh, be able to connect with each other and to connect with God. So this, that, that's this week's Talk It Over.